a lot of people think that I just got my hair colored but um, the gag is it's been a year since I got my hair colored. family welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys um, a couple of tricks that I did in order to prevent color fading so I've been receiving a lot of compliments on my hair color and a lot of people think that I just got my hair colored but um, the gag is it's been a year since I got my hair colored. <laughs> it's just funny y'all it's been a whole year since I got my hair colored last I haven't been to the hair salon since I think I think August or September I think was when I went to just get it trimmed but last March was when I got my hair colored and I haven't gotten it um, re-dyed, recolored, nothing. So if you're interested in getting your hair colored and you're afraid because you don't want the color to fade or you're afraid of hair damage, continue watching this video and I'm going to share with you guys the tea on how to prevent color fading okay first before we get started make sure you guys subscribe below and make sure you turn on the little bell so that you guys know when I post new videos so number one when I I'm gonna tell you guys a little quick backstory I'm just keep it real with you before I got my hair color I was terrified because I'm like I don't know if first of all I'm very low maintenance with my hair so I was like I don't know if my hair is gonna break off is this gonna be really really harsh on my hair um, am I gonna like it because keep in mind I was going with two colors so I was getting an ombre so I have like this like paprika color in my hair I also had like um like like an orangey color so I'm like ooh, I don't know I don't know if this is gonna work up but you know what I'm just about to go for it uh, I saw a photo of this girl who had these two colors on half and half of her head so she did I did the ombre she did one color here one color here so I was like I think that'll look dope on me so I went ahead and just did half head not whole head because I was a little nervous but um, it ended up coming out really nice and I just I actually uploaded a video on the whole entire process make sure you guys um, check it out the title is hair transformation so make sure you guys go check out that video if you want to see the full process on how they how they dyed it the colors they used and my reaction <laughs> so literally when I first got it done it they started not at the root but like a little out so it was it was up there let me take this hat off I wasn't going to take my hat off because my hair is a little itchy and I wasn't trying to scratch it the whole video, but I'll take it off to show you guys. So when I first got it colored, it was like up here and now it's down here. So I was like, I never knew how fast my hair grew until I got this color and until now basically. So here we are. A year later and the color is still fresh although it's growing out the color is so fresh and I remember being so nervous like because people always say that red fades so I'm like I don't want it to fade I want it to be you know but you can still see the two colors this color ain't looking like this color so I kind of I'm really happy that it did not so let me just show you guys the products that I've been using since last March and it's all about consistency so first of all I use nothing but Paul Mitchell products Paul Mitchell products white bottle orange top okay so you can get this literally they sell Paul Mitchell at CVS it's expensive I'm just warning y'all it's expensive but I colored my hair and I need to and I need to maintain this color so I invest in it. Now I don't be squirting or squeezing like globs and globs of shampoo. I'll put in just enough for two washes and boom. You get this at CVS, Target. They have Paul Mitchell everywhere. So I use this shampoo. And then I freaking love. It. They also have the conditioner that is in that same bottle. But I personally like this tea tree Paul Mitchell conditioner. 
and it has because it has peppermint in it and it smells so good my hairstylist actually uses this on my hair and one day i was smelling it and she's washing it i'm like what is that i just straight up asked her like what is that it smells so good she was like oh it's paul mitchell tea tree so shout out to her for telling me what the product was i love that tea tree conditioner I had this little bottle for a couple of months now i would say maybe like maybe like five months maybe yeah i feel like i've had this for like four or five months now and i'm still rocking with that little bit left another thing is i only let me put this hat back on y'all because so another thing is i wash it every two weeks um this i wash this time around i washed it it's been a week this time around it's been a week but i'm thinking about washing my hair tomorrow because my scalp is so itchy if you guys know any good products for itchy scalp please put it in the comments below because i find that my scalp is always itchy and like people tell me to drink a lot of water i'm drinking water but i need something to put on my scalp because it is itchy what else you guys yeah so don't wash your hair every single day um i think it's all about the products it's all about the products that you use when i condition my hair i let it sit for a bit for years i would just condition my hair leave it in for two minutes and rinse it out no when you condition your hair you need to let it sit it's how you feed your hair okay that's how it softens your hair that's how your hair becomes healthy basically when you let the conditioner sit and let the conditioner do its thing you just gotta let the conditioner do its thing so if you find something that works for you make sure you go ahead and use that thing and stick to that thing don't be flip-flopping trying and testing other products i tested one other product line and that was the um green collection by curls when i was doing that curls ad <laughs> i used those products one time that is pretty much it you guys i really think the main thing was the product I may actually do a giveaway and put some Paul Mitchell products in there for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your thoughts are because I know that Paul Mitchell can be a little pricey, but I also want to give back to you guys. I appreciate you guys for supporting this channel and subscribing to this channel. So maybe when i hit 200 subscribers i will do a giveaway a nice giveaway with some paul mitchell products in there and a couple of other things let me know what you guys think in the comments below yeah i just thought of that but anyway that is all i have for this video um make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video because i'm going to be talking about how to how to build your confidence on camera your camera presence so a lot of us want to start a youtube channel but we're like i don't know if i'm built for that since by you are built for that okay so i'm going to just be sharing like ways to have confidence on camera how to build your your camera presence i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and if you guys want to see more hair videos more hair tips let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video stay tuned